Hey, what's up, Threadbangers? So summertime is in full effect, and you know what that means. More summer t-shirt recon right here on the show. And this week is super special because we're hooking you up with a tutorial from the t-shirt reconstruction goddess herself, Megan Nikolai. Megan is the author of Generation T, 108 Ways to Transform a T-Shirt, a staple in any DIY library. We've done a couple projects on the show from it, and you've probably even done a couple projects out of it yourself. And since viewers like Kazina, Statue of Liberty 13, Rafael Tortuga, and I Killed Hollywood all asked for more t-shirt projects, we're headed over to Megan's Brooklyn studio for this week's lesson. Check it out. Hi, I'm Megan Nikolai, author of Generation T, 108 Ways to Transform a T-Shirt. Generation T came out in spring 2006. I started refashioning T-shirts uh, really sort of out of necessity. My sisters and I, um, under, under threat of our parents getting rid of the loads of T-shirts that we held so, so dear to our hearts. When I was in college, I started I started getting known as, as the t-shirt girl because my friends would bring their giant t-shirts over to me and say, here, can you fix this? I kept telling them, you don't understand, it's, it's really easy, you can, you can do it yourself. So fast forward, I was working in publishing and, I, and it was the first time that I, I saw that as a way to teach people how they could do, in fact, do it themselves. Looking back on it, it was a little crazy, but I wrote up a book proposal, I submitted it, and, um, and they liked it. Since then, I've been lucky enough to have my words translated into three and a half different languages. I think t-shirt refashioning is important because textiles are often overlooked in the green movement that we've seen over the past few years. You know, you think about your recycling bins, you have glass, you have cans, you have paper, but is there a bin for, for fabric? No, there isn't. Today we're going to be making the T-Bird halter top, one of my favorite projects for summer and it requires just a little bit of sewing. Beginner. This great Chinatown t-shirt, sort of boxy. So I'm gonna turn it into the halter top. The first step in transforming any t-shirt into a tank top or a halter top is getting rid of those sleeves. The next step is cutting off the bottom hem. Cut it off just above the seam through both layers and then actually cut off the stitching because we'll use the bottom piece of the hem as our drawstring. The next step is cutting off the top of the t-shirt through both layers directly beneath the neckband. And we flip the t-shirt over. We make one cut through only the back layer from the bottom of one armhole across to the bottom of the other. Remove that piece and perhaps save it for another project. To make the drawstring casing of the halter top, you fold over that top edge of the front, wrong sides in, just about an inch down, and pin it in place. After you've folded down and pinned the fabric for the drawstring casing, take it to your sewing machine, make your line of stitching about a quarter of an inch from the raw edge. And when you're finished, take it back over to your workspace, I snip the ends, remove the pins. Then we take that drawstring that we cut from the bottom of the t-shirt, attach a safety pin to one end, and we're gonna thread it through the drawstring casing. Then we gather up the fabric, remove the safety pin, and this is optional, but some people like to add, tie an overhand knot just at the end of the drawstring. It won't actually keep it from slipping in through the drawstring casing, but it's just a nice finish. Tie it in a bow at the back of your neck, and you're done. For more halters, tubes, and tanks, check out Generation T, 108 Ways to Transform a T-Shirt. And for even more, check out GenerationT.com. I'm here to see Helen. Best Job Ever is a weekly series profiling the coolest jobs in the tech space. Check it out at bestjobsever.net. Are you listening? Maybe you'll find your best job ever. Over on the Threadbanger forums, summer t-shirt recons are all over the place. One of the most popular we've seen comes from the Innocent Nine, who wrote an awesome step-by-step -step lesson on how to make a jumper skirt. Head on over to the tutorial section of the forums to check out and follow up creations from Threadbangers like the Green Tangerine, Muffy Stoffelees, Exo Katie Rose, Aniqua, and good old Lucille. On the rock and roll tip, Backseat Betty is making some killer designs with her old necromantics and horror pop shirts. Then we got Amy who's taking all of her old band shirts and putting them to good use and reconstructing them into everything from bags to tank tops, tube tops, and even this awesome little lace number. And even more rock gear comes over from Birdo101, who fashioned some skirts out of her favorite Scotties. 
Paulino has taken the cue from Ryan Moore's transforming a t-shirt into shorts lesson and made himself a pair. And first time threadbanger and poster Miss Ray Ray uploaded this dress she made from an old oversized t-shirt she had laying around. So if you have something you've made, you know the drill. Post it to the Threadbanger forums. Better yet, if you have video capabilities, send us in a clip of your DIY style and we'll put it right here on the show. A big thanks to Megan for this week's lesson. And as a matter of fact, we have these very awesome Generation T sewing kits that we'll be giving away to 25 lucky Threadheads. To win, all you gotta do is become a fan on Facebook or be following us on Twitter. We're gonna pick 25 people at random, so if you're not signed up, get to it. Until next week, we'll see you later. Hi there, my name is Chioma Ihane. I love your show, Threadbanger. And I was so inspired to make this little number. I call it the Rock and Work Out T-shirt. I just want to say, love your show. Keep up the good work. See you later.